Hey everybody, this is Roger from Reputation Management Toolbox, and I wanted to shoot a quick video about social SEO and RSS feeds. We seem to be getting a lot of questions about this and support tickets, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video uh, to help you understand exactly what's going on here. So the first thing that you need to understand about social posts is that each social post has its own unique URL. So every time you make a post to Google+, to Facebook, to LinkedIn, you post a YouTube video, uh, you do a pin on Pinterest, uh, put a picture on Instagram. Every single one of those action creates an individual item with a unique URL. This is going to be important. I'll show you in a minute. Now, inside your social posting, you can put links. This is where social SEO really comes into play. Putting links inside social media posts is very valuable from a search engine optimization perspective, and it's something that we highly recommend you do. Now, not just putting links but putting links with keywords in them. So this is a keyword rich landing page that this link is a representative of. Okay, so now we understand that, hey, each one of my social media posts has a unique URL. I can put links inside my social media posts. That means if you link to a post that has a link in it, you're now creating tiered link building. It's SEO 101. But here's the important part. Your social RSS feed has everything in it. So when you pull an RSS feed of your social media posting, you'll see that the first thing is that first arrow is showing you that there is a link back to the post. And then the second arrow is showing you that if you put a link inside your social media post, that's going to create another link. Starting to see how this is. So if you can pull the RSS feed from all of your social media, all of your Web 2.0, all of your parasites, all of your press release sites, those RSS feeds have all of the links back to the individual posts as well as the links that you put inside of them. This is really important. Now, where can you get social links? Well, just about anywhere. Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, Flickr, WordPress, MySpace, Meetup. They're, they're all opportunities for you to be making social posts that have social links in them. Now, if you don't know what an RSS feed is, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Um, the technical uses a family of standard, blah, blah, blah. It allows publishers to syndicate data automatically. The idea behind this and Reputation Management Toolbox is, is that we wanted to create a syndication tool that leverages your current social media habits without having to do any extra work. So that means if you're going in and making a post a week to your Twitter account or a post a day to your Facebook fan page, we wanted to leverage your current activities to magnify the value of them without you having to go and do more of it. Now, of course, more social media engagement via syndication is more powerful, but if you're only doing a couple of posts a month, it's still going to work. So let's unleash the RSS Ninja, because I know a lot of people want to know how this works. So here's some codes for some of our favorite RSS feed sites. So we use a lot of Blogspot, Tumblr, WordPress.com, regular WordPress site, and we love Newswire.net. These are how you can pull the RSS feed of this. Now, you can take a screenshot of this, or you can pause the video to write these down. There's just a piece of code that you have to put on the end of the primary domain for each of these. So say you want to go to, you have plumbingtoday.blogspot.com. That's our blog for our plumbing niche. So all we have to do is go in there and add that feeds, forward slash post, forward slash default question, alt equal RSS. That one's a little long. Tumblr, you just add RSS to the end. WordPress.com, you just add feed. If you're doing a WordPress site, you just add feed. And Newswire.net, you can actually grab your RSS feed from inside your Newswire um, account. Or if you know um, what your, um, like our number is 226 for one of our feeds, if you know that number, then you can just copy this and post this in. So that's how to use like your micro and your parasites or some of your buffer assets. Now, what you probably really want to know is how do you pull the RSS feeds from your social media profiles? So for Facebook, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to find my Facebook ID and you need to get your ID number. Basically, you just type in the name of your page. Um, this is for Facebook fan pages. Because of privacy policy issues, you cannot do this with a personal profile. You have to do this with a fan page. Um, then you just copy this URL exactly, facebook.com, all of that, and you put your ID at the end, and boom, you have an RSS feed for Facebook. Now, Twitter is a little bit more complicated. You do have to work through the API, through their development side. There is no URL that you can put in for Twitter. You have to be a developer. So that makes it a little complicated. Now, LinkedIn, just about 45 days ago, pulled their RSS feeds. 
Now, inside Reputation Management Toolbox, we still have the RSS feed syndication integrated for, uh, for LinkedIn. The reason is, is that Facebook pulled their RSS feed about 18 months ago, and there was such an uproar that about two months later, they brought it back. We're hoping and we're thinking that that same thing's going to happen with LinkedIn, so we've left it active. Uh, for Google+, that is a link that you can go to that will guide you through creating the RSS feed. Again, it's not as simple as just putting a, a URL together. You have to go through and you have to create some things on the developer side. YouTube's pretty easy. You can see I've highlighted the word that you just have to flip out for your channel. Pinterest, Instagram, those are all pretty straightforward. So this does sometimes take a little bit of developer effort in order to work correctly, but you can pull some of these completely on your own. Now what's important is, is that once you pull all of the RSS feeds, you want to create a single RSS of all of your social, Web 2.0, Parasite, press release, all of your content syndication, you want, to, you want to create what we call a mash. Now there used to be a program called Yahoo Pipes. This goes back, oh, maybe two or three years ago now, and it was an open source development platform that really just kind of crashed and doesn't really work anymore. You can get it to do some things, but the feeds break so often that we decided to code our own. Now, I wish I could show you how to do an RSS mash, but to be honest, it takes two developers to maintain our RSS mashing feed. So if you were going to do any type of syndication of your profiles, you might have to do them independently, or you can try to hire someone on ODesk to build you out a syndicator, or you can use our syndicator, which is probably a lot easier. The one reason that I highly recommend using ours is because at least once per month, one of the syndication feeds breaks. Like LinkedIn will stop working. Facebook will change something in their algorithm. YouTube will decide to block channels instead of personal. Our job is to maintain all of those and make it seem seamless on the front end so that you don't have to deal with any of those issues. So what I want to do right now is I want to go back out to the website reputation management toolbox and I want to show you how this all works so from your user profile once you're logged in you've got all of these items set up here these once you put this in we're going to start pulling your RSS feed of this and we're gonna start syndicating your content now a lot of people have asked what this means we just added this new tool this is because some SEO professionals do not want the links that they put inside their social media posts to show in the syndication. They wanted the ability to block that. We rotate between trying to block and not blocking. We actually like having those links go out. We do them in such a sporadic, random manner through so many different networks that we feel completely safe in doing so. But if you're one of those professionals that does not want any social links back to your money site, you can block this. Those That's typically done when you're doing straight reputation management, meaning your only concern is to rank these profiles and dominate the first page of Google. Now, down here for like Yelp, Foursquare, Better Business Bureau, Angie's List, there really is no syndication, so there's nothing to block. So we've added that tool in. Now, the second thing that you do, and this is under just your user page, is you can go over to your mashed RSS feed. This page allows you to add in all of those additional RSS feeds that we showed you on the slides a minute ago. So this is our blog. This is our blog spot. This is our Tumblr. This is our WordPress. These are two micro sites that are set up as WordPress sites through the Buffer Blog Network. And this is our RSS feed for our Newswire account. Now, again, you can see do not block, block. We can control how the syndication goes out and whether or not these links, the links inside of our posts are syndicated out. Now, what does an RSS feed look like? Well, if you're on Google Chrome, it looks like this. This is the code version. If you really want to see what it looks like, you can go over and put it in Internet Explorer or Firefox, and Firefox pulls up the visual version, not the code version of it. So you can see that these links here are linking back to our social posts. You can see that in these types of links, we're blocking the posted links, so those aren't live. Let's try to find one where it's not blocked. Some Instagram pictures. And okay, so here's an example. So we have anchor text inside one of our blog posts. We want that anchor text to be syndicated out to get us more links from authority domains. So we did not block it, and there it is. That's a link. There's another one. There's another one. I'm trying to find a naked. Our Twitter posts are blocked. Okay, well, as you can see, these are live anchor text links. Those are super high value. 
And that's really all there is to RSS feeds and syndicating RSS feeds. Now, you're probably saying, wow, Roger, you talk fast. Well, you can watch this again. Um, it's all built into your tool. We wanted to make it easy on you through the mashed RSS feed. And then you can also look at your social feeds that go out so that you can see what's going on and look at every post that goes out. We've really automated this all for you. People, we get a lot of support tickets saying, hey, you know what? I set up all my user profiles. Now what do I do? And we tell them, well, inside our program, really nothing. You're done. This is going to run automatically in the background. All you need to do is continue to post to all of these profiles, and you're going to receive the benefit of the uh, uh, syndication. And, and that's it. So this is Roger from Reputation Management Toolbox. If you have any more questions, of course, click the support tab and send them over. We'll be happy to help you. And this was a guide on how to use RSS feeds. Thanks.